Then we've opened up this file in Coil Draw. Basically what you want to do is make sure that this says Universal Laser on it. That's what you're printing to. That gives you this particular size layout. You always want to remember 18 by 32. That's the size of our laser. That's the size it needs to see when you're printing out. If you print out 8 by 11, it will explode up your part to where it fits a 32 by 18, which will mean it will be way oversized for your part. So you go to print, you have a little fourth icon over and you hit print, you bring it up, and sometimes it'll have something else other than the VLS660. Right now it says Microsoft X doc, XPS document. Uh, disregard that, just go down to where you see the VLS 6.60, click on that, it automatically pops it up to the 18 by 32. Now if you need to change your properties, this is where your properties are for your universal laser software. Before you would have to be, this would be stacked on top of each other on one monitor, but now you can see two different monitors at the same time. So red is always vector, 0 .001 or less, or hairline, for it to cut through. All the other ones, black, green, yellow, blue, magenta, cyan, orange, all those colors you want to be rastering, and you also want it to uh, be two thousandths larger line than or larger. You can uh, adjust it to where you can go really fast and it's a really bad quality print, or you can go really slow and it would be a really good quality print. That's your choice. So you get all your settings set right, then you hit print, and it prints. Now down here you'll see a little print icon down here says document waiting to print and there it is. There's the document right there. You printed it here, it prints to this software here which is universal laser software. So now you're ready to actually print this part off on the universal laser.